and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today, we're going to be comparing the Savage Mark II BTV with the newer Savage B22 Precision. So if you're looking for a NRL 22 competition gun, you don't, not too sure which one to go for, the newer B22 or the old reliable Mark II, this video should help you make a decision. So the Mark II has obviously been out forever. It used to be uh, manufactured under Mossberg for a while. I actually have an old Mossberg Lakefield Mark II and I've never had an issue. Uh, so, I mean, this, this unit is obviously the old reliable and the B22 is like the new spring chicken on the block. So, um, we've done reviews on both of these rifles. If you can, if you want to watch both of these reviews, I mean, there's going to be some links in the descriptions below. So let's start this off with accuracy. So the Savage Mark II is a phenomenally, is a phenomenally, phenomenally, phenomenally accurate rifle. I mean, this thing yields great groups. Uh, all day long with CCI standard velocity will perform. We shot this thing out to 150 meters and I mean, it will shoot a dime sized group, okay? All right, so obviously shooting at 50 meters is a lot of fun when you're going for pretty tight groups, but shooting at 150 meters is even more fun ringing steel. So let's see if we can get a couple rounds on those steel gongs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm holding the left edge of the plate. So this thing is accurate, extremely accurate. Now the Savage Mark II, we didn't have as much success with, uh, for one specific reason. Um, when you cycle the bolt, as you feed one round into the chamber, you're actually putting a slice into the round underneath, into the lead of the round underneath, which causes accuracy issues for the round underneath. Uh, we did have to send it in to repair that issue. Savage sent it back and it doesn't quite scratch the round underneath quite as much, but it still does leave a small slice into the, into the round underneath. So it's not quite perfected. So for accuracy for this one, I would say we, it was good, but not excellent. That last one, I think I fed it a little high. I think I pushed it a little high. You know what? I was getting pretty discouraged with this rifle until this group. Our average group size before this was about an inch and a quarter. Okay, I don't want to admit it, but some of it was an inch and a half. Uh, this looks like we're just around maybe 0 0.6 inches. That's good. That's good. That's not excellent not fantastic it's very good I'd say very good so definitely the mark II takes the cake for accuracy next we have the barreled action so the barreled action on the BT fee is is actually excellent I mean this thing is really quick to cycle it's really really nice to flick rounds in and out if you were looking for an NRL match rifle this 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 barreled action is fantastic you can really just fling them in and out and it's super, super smooth, especially if you compare it to the Mark II. 
So just have a look at this. Definitely not as smooth as the uh, B22. As far as, let's say, com competitions go, you're likely going to prefer the uh, B22 as opposed to the Mark II. So for the barreled action, I will arguably give the point to the B22 Precision. Next, we have the trigger. So they both have the Accu trigger, but they are definitely not the same Accu trigger. The Mark II's Accu trigger only goes down as low as 2.5, and it varies from trigger pull to trigger pull. So I've seen a variance of about a third of a pound from each trigger pull. So typically it's about 2.5 pounds, and sometimes it goes to like 2.8, 2.9, 2.6, 2.5, 2.9. It kind of like just varies around there. It's fairly sharp. It has a fairly sharp break, but it still does have a little bit of creep, and you are going to notice that. Uh, now, the B22 has a really a fantastic trigger. I mean, a really, really amazing trigger. This thing has no creep. It goes all the way down to 1.5 pounds, and as high as 5 pounds, just like the Mark II. It goes fairly high. But, I mean, these, these triggers are worlds apart. Uh, the, the Savage Mark II definitely takes the cake for this. Next, we have aftermarket support. So they, I would say in this aspect, they're both very, very equal. They have a lot of options for both of these. Although I believe the Mark II in this configuration, they don't offer one with a threaded barrel. I might be wrong though. I just very might be wrong. I just haven't seen any with a threaded portion. Whereas the B22, it looks like most of them are threaded. So if you wanted to put a suppressor, you can do so. But there are stocks, there are triggers, there are rails, there are barrels come from every company. So for aftermarket support, you have it for both of them. So don't base your decision on that. Next, we have free floated. So are both of these barrels free floated? So the Mark II is free floated. Um, there is very little clearance between the barrel and but the stock, but it is definitely free floated. Now, the B22 being in a chassis, it offers like about a quarter to about half inch all around the barrel. So if you wanted to, you could put a really fat barrel up in there. So next we have the stock. So um, for the Mark II, there are a ton of options for the stock on the market. I mean, this one here specifically is the Boyd's uh, thumbhole stock. So Savage has partnered with Boyd's to offer the Savage BTV, Boyd's uh, thumbhole varmint. So uh, and it, it's a really, really ergonomic and really comfortable. And the cheek, the comb height is at the perfect, perfect height for your scope. I mean, and these are some high rings on a uh, one inch tube and a 44 millimeter objective. So I find they did a pretty good job for ergonomics with this. And I mean, the Mark II has literally every stock you can dream of. They have a minimalist version. They have a traditional boring hunting version. Um, they have a regular target variant, and I think they have one that's the Evolution. I think they call it the Evolution, and it looks really badass. Uh, now, the B-22 is actually quite similar. They have wooden stocks. They have polymer stocks. They have the chassis, such as this one, which is fantastic. I mean, you can have any AR-15 pistol grip on this thing, and it is very, very comfortable. It's adjustable for comb height, adjustable for, for length of pull. Um, it has M-lock rails on the side. It is everything you could dream of and then some. So as far as stocks go, I likely would jump with the B-22 because it has everything you could possibly want. Next, we have the warranty. Now, the warranties are obviously the same because they're coming from the same company. Now, Warf Savage offers a fantastic warranty. We did have issues with our B-22. We sent it back, actually performed modifications to it when I shouldn't have. Um, but they said, you know what, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll cover you. Don't even, don't worry about it. Just send it in we'll take care of you. And they did. So if you're looking for, uh, your first NRL 22, uh, rifle and you have a little bit less of a budget, you want to be a bit more conservative side, the Mark II is an excellent option. It is still an excellent, excellent option. And I, I would encourage everybody, you know what, to get a Mark II. These things are great. The BTV, um, from what I've seen, most people don't have the issue that I've had, so most of them are very, very accurate. Savage makes really, really accurate yeah. barrels, so I wouldn't just base your decision off of my experience, which was a little bit less than ideal. Accuracy was good, but not excellent, whereas with the Mark II was excellent. Um, yeah, so in my opinion, I think I would still go with the B-22 Precision over the Mark II, but the Mark II is by all means an excellent, 
excellent uh, precision rifle. So I hope this video helps you choose which rifle is gonna be best suited for you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, consider hitting like, consider hitting subscribe, and I will see you on the next review.